This is the Bogus C1 Pro. This thing has some pretty cool specs. I'm gonna go through a brief run through what they are in this video, but we're gonna get to the unboxing straight away. Let's go ahead. Already, okay, I'm gonna actually give you a quick close up. It comes with a seat. It comes with the hybrid tires, off-road and road tires, which is pretty cool. It's pretty well wrapped. Toy wraps here, toy wraps there. There's a lot of styrofoam in here, okay. That's the seat there. It's my first time actually getting an electric scooter that actually has a seat included. So let's try and take this out of the box. By the way, all the specs are displayed on the screen right now, and it is linked below if you wanna have a look at the current prices. Let's keep going, let's lift this out. Okay. Okay. It's actually, weight wise, it's actually not too bad. Okay, let's have a look here. Get some of these toy wraps off. Definitely well packed. Pop that folding. Okay, pretty good. Kickstand down. So what do we get in the box? We get the user manual, of course. You actually get a phone holder, which is pretty cool. This is something similar to the one you get on the, I think it's the G Booster. You get something similar to that one. You get a bell here. You get your charger, two pin as always, and you get a few tools inside. So what we just need to do first is we need to just loosen this, and then we just need to pop the handlebar on. So let's go ahead and do that. I think the tools you get with these electric scooters, they're always not really the best of quality. So it is, a, I think, a good reason to get a really good tool set. The best thing about this scooter as well, it is apparently waterproof and IP64 rating. You have the 500 watt motor, you have the front suspension. I'm gonna be definitely putting this to its paces. Really hard grips there, very hard grips, and you have like a thumb throttle here. I do love the thumb throttles, however, they're pretty nice. I'm definitely gonna try it with the seat. I wanna see what it's like. It's so basically on the seat area. To fold the seat, you just simply have these pins here, you push them a little bit, and then this collapses down if you want, or you can just completely take off the whole thing. The seat itself is pretty chunky. It has a bit of a shock absorber there as well. Front drum brake on this, and then you actually have a back disc brake. It does have the electronic brake, however. The deck on it seems actually pretty grippy, which is good. The stand is probably one of the smallest stands I've ever seen in my life. The charge port here, Looks pretty good actually. And it actually has another cap there as well. Adjustable handlebars here as well. The back shocks here, they remind me of the Monorum spring suspension. You don't have a place to rest your foot, but never mind. The back mud guard seems actually pretty good quality. It doesn't look like that's gonna snap off. I've never actually ridden the hybrid tires, so I'm really looking forward to that. Overall build quality looks pretty neat so far. I'm gonna pump the tires to about 50 PSI. Let's have a quick look here what the display looks like. Eco, we have about the usual probably three quarter battery. You press the button mid, high, and it does say the speeds are about 45 kilometers, but as always on this channel, we're gonna test the top speed with GPS stats. Bogus did send me this electric scooter for review and testing purposes, so thank you to them for sending me this scooter. Okay, so we just brought it outside so you can have a good look at it here. Looks pretty cool. I actually took the seat off the back here, and you have the full deck space here, the seat clamp. You just pop it off here, take these screws off, and away you go. So far, I tried it on high gear. There is definitely a bit of a kick out of this, all right. We're gonna have to adjust the brakes, check all the bolts. Definitely check the tire pressure on this. If you have enjoyed this unboxing video, do give it a thumbs up. Full review coming soon. Stay safe and I'll talk to you in the next video.